beginning to fear that you're not very smart. Mind your tongue, Oracle. Oh, I mean no offense. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about your species. How long have these parts been anointing arbiters? Since the fall of Falchavi, the first disgraced arbiter, roughly 400 years ago. Incredible! And all this time, it never occurred to you how convenient it was that your prophets were able to find a powerful, capable leader among the people, who happened to suddenly commit a terrible blasphemy every time the power structure of your covenant was threatened. I do not understand. Hmm, you do little to dissuade my fears. Then teach me. Looking back at the record of the arbiters you discussed, was it not surprising to anyone that those chosen to become arbiter were more than simple warriors? How so? Each of them had significant political influence among the people. In some cases, that influence was already being used to question the decisions of your higher ups. In fact, that very questioning often gave rise to the charges of heresy that so neatly removed the challenger from the higher ups' concern. Once they were branded Arbiter, they promptly and quite cheerfully ran to meet their guests. All our lives we go down at the path, put our feet where the prophets tell us. All our lives spent convincing ourselves of the truth of our government. All of it truly have been wasted. Let's hope not all of it, for we have a great deal of work to do. The Flood is still out there, so I require a cooperative reclaimer to enact proper containment procedures. But your covenant keeps trying to kill all the reclaimers I can find. All this bickering is quite a deadly waste of time. Right now, the most important question we can ask is this. Who could break this hold that the prophets have over you? Πάρ' το, πού θα πάρ' Ωρα, πήγαν Το βρήκα στο κλειδί, σε κουσίνα το έχω Counselors, are they murdered by the brutes? Fire on these loyal beasts. The prophets were fools to trust them.
Larry, that brave mind used us. We were just a diversion. An amber clad was always its intended vector. There's a conduit connecting this tower to the ship. Head back inside. I'll lead you to it. Disable this lift once you reach the top. That'll slow them down. I hope. Shall we let the flood consume our holy city? Turn my charity. No enemy has ever withstood our might. Flood too shall fail. I'll do what I can to slow the launch sequence. There's something inside the ship, a presence that's fighting back. For a covenant construct, it's unusually formidable. It's unusually formidable.
Parasite did not defeat the Forerunners, and it shall not defeat us. Arrogant creature! Your deaths will be instantaneous, while we shall suffer the progress of infinitude. Security systems in this part of the tower are particularly robust. Whosoever is gripped by fear, take heed. I am the prophet of truth, and I am not afraid. Noble mercy, my sight, is wise counsel ever provided. We exist together now, two groups. Apparently, these are the prophet hierarch's private quarters, their inner sanctum. Covenant was good at repurposing Forerunner technology, but this is amazing. They've been using the Forerunner ship's engines as an energy source for the city. The ship isn't so much launching as it is disengaging, uncoupling itself from High Charity's power grid. Stopping truth, that's all that matters. Now is the time of our unworlding. Moment we shall all be counted as gods. Don't make a girl a promise, if you know you can't keep it.
What is that place? Where the counselors were meant to watch the consecration of the icon. The start of the great journey. There is still time to stop the key from turning. I must get inside. Then mount up, Arbiter. I know a way to break those doors.
with this information is probably dead right now. He was commander of the fleet that brought me to the system. Fel Vadimi was his name. But after hearing you tell of the destruction of the ring, I cannot believe that he still lives. His orders were to secure the ring, to prepare it for the arrival of the Hierarchs. Vadimi never fails in his duties. If the ring is no more, then Vadimi must be dead. Duty can indeed be a dangerous virtue. But even if he did live, wouldn't this sense of duty make him quite unlikely to set aside his allegiance to the prophets? Perhaps not. And he would never betray our people. No, oh, if I... if we were able to just speak to him, explain everything you have told me, no, these are futile hopes. If he did live, and if he was returned to the High Prophets, they would most certainly punish him for the destruction of the Ring. In fact, he would be the exact kind of leader the Hierarchs would make Arbiter. They would need someone to blame for the loss of the Ring. His influence within the fleet grew with every one of his victories over the humans. And if he did become Arbiter? Then he would be lost to our cause. Without the knowledge you've shared with me, he would obey the prophets without question. 
I doubt he would even respond to his former name. I don't know what it would take to overcome, but as you say, we don't have time to ask such questions, and Vadimi is almost certainly dead. If all your hopes rest on him, then I fear for the future of this galaxy. As do I, Oracle. As do I. But I will begin our fight. Make others aware of the lies the prophets whisper in our ears. And soon, we will find more who will take up our cause. Don't do something. Mr. Mohawk's gonna activate his ring. And we're all gonna die. Tartarus has locked himself inside the control room. Well, I just happen to have a key. Come on, grab a banshee and give me some cover. Gonna know what's coming.
icon in your hands. And do as you are told. Please use caution. This reclaimer is delicate. One more word, Oracle, and I'll rip your eye from its socket. Mm. Which is nothing compared to what I'll do to you. Tartarus, stop. Impossible. Put down the icon. Put it down. And disobey the Hierarchs? There are things about Halo even the Hierarchs do not understand. Take care, Arbiter. What you say is heresy. Is it? Oracle, what is Halo's purpose? Collective Wall! Not another word! Please. Don't shake the light bulb. If you want to keep your brain inside your head, I tell those boys to chill. Go ahead. Do your thing. The sacred rings. What are they? Weapons of last resort, built by the Forerunners to eliminate potential flood hosts, thereby rendering the parasite harmless. And those who made the rings? What happened to the Forerunners? After exhausting every other strategic option, my creators activated the rings. They and all additional sentient life in three radii of the galactic center died as planned. Would you like to see the relevant data? Tartarus, the prophets have betrayed us. No, Arbiter! The great journey has begun, and the brutes, not the elite, shall be the prophet's escort.
What's that? A beacon. What's it doing? Communicating at superluminal speeds with the frequency Communicating of... with what? The other installations. Show me. Failsafe protocol. In the event of unexpected shutdown, the entire system will move to standby status. All remaining platforms are now ready for remote activation. Remote activation? From here? Don't be ridiculous. Listen, Tinkerbell, don't make me... Then where? Where would someone go to activate the other rings? Why the Ark? Of course. And where, Oracle, is that? We've got a new contact. Unknown classification. It isn't one of ours. Take it out. This is Spartan 117. Anyone hear me? Over. Isolate that signal. Master Chief, you mind telling me what you're doing on that ship? Sir. Finishing this fight. Shoot. 